now we are looking at non rectangle triangles uh, non rectangle triangles they are solved using sine rule either sine rule or cosine rule so first in this episode we'll be looking at the sine rule so what does the sine rule states so we say uh, non a non right angle triangle uh, the standard will be the, the standard naming the sides the side which is opposite to angle a you make use of a lowercase so lowercase a lowercase b lowercase c so the sine rule states that these ratios are the same the ratio of sine uh, sine angle a to uh, over a is equal to sine b over b is equal to sine angle c over c or you can get the ratios um, is a over sine a is equal to b over sine b is equal to c over sine c so let's have an example of how we apply the sign uh, the sign loop. So the application will be um, let's say you are required to find side mark the x and Four. So for you to make use uh, of the sign rule, you must have a complete pair. By a complete pair, what do, you, uh, what do you mean? In this case, we have four and here we have eight. So this is a complete pair, and here we have an incomplete pair. So we are going to say x over sine eight is equal to four over sine eight. So x will be equal to 4 times sine 80 over sine 30. Let's push that. Okay, let's make sure that your calculator is in degrees. 4 sine 80 divided by sine 30. What do you get? That's 7.88. That's example one. Example B or example two. So in this case, we we were required to find the missing side. How about when we are required to find the missing the missing angle? The missing angle. So let's say we have uh, we have one angle given is fifty three. Let's say we have fifty three. Say that's angle B, and then you are given the side which is opposite to angle B is 3.56 uh, centimeters, and then you are given side side C is 4.4.28. So find angle, find angle C, find angle C. To answer that, we say here we make use of sine rule. Remember, we have a complete pair, and this pair is incomplete. So we say sine C over 4.28 is equal to sine 53 over. 3.56 sine C will be equal to 4.28 sine 53 degrees over 3.56. We punch that in our calculators and remember. Uh, okay, 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 let's punch that first in our calculators 5.28 sine 53 divided by 3.56. You get 0 0.96, 0 0.96, 0 0.15, blah, 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 blah. Now, for you to get the angle, you can say C is equal to arc sine. 
the value which is on your calculator and keep the value on your calculator and then simply then punch second function sine equal to you get 73.8 degrees so that's how you uh, make use of the sign of sign of uh, is only applicable in cases where you have at least one complete pair. That is the limitation of sign of So it means if you don't have a complete pair, then you are then forced to make use of some other method. So check episode 2 where we make use of uh, we continue if you want to call sign of because we've seen the limitations which uh, sign of uh, do carry.